Jamie, you're hands-on in this machine shop. Um, let's talk about this lathe to start with, or turning centre, we should say. Uh, you've, you, you went for a TC320LTY, so you've got the longer, the longer bed length, driven tools and a y-axis. Did you need all of that capability? Yes, because previously we've been making things in two or three ops. It just makes it easier to take the machining time down from three ops to one. Ease of use, of, again, is, is and, really good. And what about your experience? Because one of the things about the XYZ is they're, I'm told, very easy to use, very easy to get to grips with. Since you've been machining, or how long have you been machining and how easy was it? I've only been machining seven and a half years and I came in knowing zero about any of the machine shop and um, it's so easy you come on it someone will show you something and you because it's quite visual you can you can pick it up really easily and, and and would that even be the case with something that's got multi-axis on it so even with the y-axis do you don't have to worry about when you're programming about getting collisions and stuff like that how do, how do you go about making sure that everything that you do is right the machines are inbuilt with a simulator so you can input your information, it will stop you if it knows something's not quite right. And you can obviously see in the simulator if, if something's going to collide or crash or have a big chunk out of it where it's not supposed to. OK, let's, pre let's press the simulation just so we can see this here. So this is in a, this, it, this, at the moment you're just doing a thread on the OD yeah. of this particular yeah. part. Is that the only operation for this part? Uh, we will face it off just to make sure it's flat because it will it'll most likely be attached to a tank or something like that, a fuel tank. So um, we'll just be able to pop it on and it'd be dead flat. The welders won't have to worry about squaring it up or anything like that. And it will just make the thread and it's showing you taking, a, taking the OD down. Now let, let's, very simple this one, um, not taking anything away from your, your skill set, but when you do start getting uh, the y-axis involved, is it, is it very similar? You can actually see the, the, the flats yeah, being milled yeah. and... Yeah, it will, it will show you the tool coming in. You can choose, it will show you the tool path if you select it to. You can, there's all various options you can, you can use on the simulator that will give you a half cut view, a 3D view, a flat view. You can view from the front, the back, any side you like, you can rotate. It's, it's a really, really clever machine. So if you went out or you were looking for a machine, maybe, maybe you had your own company and you didn't know anything about machining, would, would in your opinion, this sort of XYZ machine, even though it's sophisticated, be a good place to start? Oh yeah, I would recommend XYZ to, uh, to anyone who, would, who was looking for a machine. It's the, the best machines we've got. They're, they're wonderful. And, and you look at the parts that you make, I've seen some very, very small components being done on this big machine, as well as you, you, you've actually pushed it to its extremes as well on its, yes. on its capacity. You've done both. Yes, yeah, we, uh, we had some giant flanges in there a couple of weeks ago and we were really pushing the boundaries of the machine, just so where the, you had to reposition the tools and you had to go different ways and do lots of funky things with the tools. Um, and would you get involved in intermittent cutting with stuff like that? Because I can imagine some of your, if you're talking about flanges, it might be quite irregular in their, in their shapes and how, you know, how they're formed, which might mean it has stresses and strains on the turning operation. Yes, you can do, you can vary the spindle speed. Where you have the obviously it'll vibrate if when you're between the jaws, so you can vary the speed. It's a variable speed machine, so you can it reduces the vibration between the tool and the part. Uh, uh, reliable. Ever, do they ever reliable. break down? I know machines do break down, but you know they what's do, the. But it's generally a slight problem. It'll take a five-minute job. Obviously, someone like me wouldn't know how to fix it, but an XYZ engineer will come in, look at it, and they say, "Oh, it's that," and they'll just chuck the part on and go. They're normally here about an hour. It's so easy. Job done. Um, training and stuff like that, like we've covered already, uh, from your perspective, if you had another machine in, even if it was a five axis or something, you'd be quite confident that you could get to grips with it straight away. Yes, XYZ actually do come in and uh, give us a day or two's training with every machine. They include a training package, so you're, you become pretty competent. They stay with you for a couple of days, run through jobs that you'd normally do, and you can become pretty competent from not knowing anything about the machines to, to knowing pretty much everything you need to know, really.